Hey there, Internet friends. Trevor Starkey here with another Tuesday episode of Trevor Trove Gaming. Today, I want to talk about video game music in honor of the uh, Legend of Zelda symphony that I attended last night. Um, I attended a few months back, probably about a year ago now, actually, I guess. Uh, a little over a year ago, uh, I went to the Final Fantasy concert uh, here in town when it came through. And, uh, and last night, I attended a similar one uh, with Zelda music. In both cases, one of the things I absolutely love about these concerts is uh, getting to see kind of my generation and even younger uh, go out and support live music symphonies and, and whatnot. In the same way that older generations had people like Mozart and Beethoven, uh, I am kind of a firm believer that the newer generations, our generation, will kind of see the music of people like John Williams uh, and in movies and video game music kind of pass the torch uh, and become the classics of tomorrow. And I know, I know, to music classicists, that's heresy and whatnot, but Shakespeare in his day was meant for the common man. But those stories had such universal appeal that they have lasted the test of time. And I very much believe we will see that kind of sweeping, beautiful music um, that we have in movies like Star Wars and Indiana Jones and games like uh, the Mario and Final Fantasy and Zelda and Halo, we will see all of that kind of continue forward um, well past the, the, the games themselves, I think. So as a lifelong fan of the arts, I love seeing something that gets my generation and children out to supporting the arts in this way. With the Zelda concert in particular last night, um, I was surprised actually how like much I was moved to tears in the opening number. Um, which was most of the concert itself was a medley from the games. Um, Final Fantasy last year has very specific themes that are tied to specific characters or even just songs from within games have become kind of iconic in their own right. Or you have kind of universal themes like the Chocobo theme and One Wing and Angel or something like that. In, in Zelda, outside of the kind of opening theme and maybe some of like the... Link, Zelda, Ganon kind of themes that do kind of stretch across multiple games. Um, you don't have as much iconography, I don't think. That's not fair. Ocarina of Time and Wind Waker are kind of built around their musical cues very much, uh, and so those certainly have an iconic feel to them. But games like Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild and Link to the Past don't have as much musical history in them. So it didn't surprise me that most of this concert was, okay, we're going to pick a game and now we're going to do kind of a stretch of, like, here are some themes from, you know, playing in the overworld, and here are some themes from this dungeon, and here are some themes from this boss fight. Um, it, and so you kind of had, like, longer pieces instead of more confined solo songs that you had at, like, the Final Fantasy concert. And while the original kind of iconic Zelda music that kind of kicked off the conference really like brought me to tears. There was a lot of this where there were songs where I was like, oh yeah, okay, I guess I could place that, but it didn't have as much resonance for me as Final Fantasy did. And I think that's part of that is because I'm just not as connected to the Zelda uh, franchise in itself. I completely skipped over uh, Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword, so Breath of the Wild this year was like my first Zelda back in a decade or so since Wind Waker. But even without that deep-rooted love of the franchise, I still very much appreciated the music and the themes and kind of what was presented. And if you haven't attended any of these concerts, uh, they, they have a live orchestra playing music alongside kind of a video projected up above of like scenes from the game and stuff like that. I will say one of the things that stood out to me, um, especially as it pertains to Breath of the Wild, uh, they played very much kind of that, the trailer music you got from that very first big sweeping Breath of the Wild trailer. And so much of that was the sound effects of birds chirping and wind rustling and, um, you know, animals kind of skittering through the woods. So it was very jarring to have that kind of pre-recorded and playing while the orchestra is there is playing their part. 
all in all, though, I had a great time. It was wonderful to, to get out and go uh, attend this and see kind of the live concert. Um, I probably didn't need to, you know, fork over the extra money for like an, an eighth row center seat like I did. But I did this, you know, a few months ago and almost had forgotten that I'd bought the tickets until I got an email notification this last weekend. So, you know, whatever. Um, but it was a great time. If, if the Zelda Symphony is coming to your town anytime soon, I highly recommend going to see it if you're a fan of Kingdom Hearts, they've got a great kind of concert on tour. Final Fantasy, of course, has a great concert on tour. So I highly recommend if you can kind of find one of these concerts in your area um, and you're a fan of video games and specifically the music of video games, getting to see them live in an orchestral setting is just breathtaking. So that's what I wanted to talk about today. Let me know what your thoughts on video game music are in the comments below. As always, I've been your host, Trevor Starkey, from trevortrove.com. You can follow me at Snarky Starkey on Twitter. And until next time, from here at the Trove, treasure your friends.